Marxism view on family with focus on women in the family. Before Industrial Revolution, family was a place of production. Many items were produced in the family, for example, soap, toys, medicine, such as herbal mixes, clothes, and food, such as grain or meat and milk. After Industrial Revolution, main production are made in the factories. And family had to adopt to the situation, so members of the family work outside own household. For example, women take part in working force. However, women still do domestic labor. Unpaid domestic labor. Even today, men are breadwinners and women merely domestic servants. But now they have the added toll of the workforce. Women work five hours a day on average doing domestic chores and men only do three hours. But women are working more. And there is still a substantial pay gap and it appears to be growing. Oh, so that explains the difference in our salaries. Nowadays, despite the inequality of contemporary workforce and gender pay gap, women have still been able to be quite successful, such as our own lady. Our own ladies and family lives. Our own lady is a nickname that has frankly been used to describe the female heads of government around the world. The term describes a strong willed woman. Soft size of our own lady. However, not like the world people judge, more and more our own ladies not only have their own business, which could have their feed up their families, but act as a good mother as well. That is to say, our own ladies not only have their soft sides under pressure from the works which have made them act as their own. For their business, our own ladies work as hard as main colleagues not only get salaries to feed their families. During their daily lives staying with their families, our own ladies are also gentle and patient to their children who need support from their mothers. However, the Marxism feminism is not ideal view on society. Criticism exists. Marxist feminists tend to be criticized for placing too much emphasis upon class relations in the economic sphere and in not paying enough attention to female experience outside the labor market. Given that the revolutionary overthrow of capitalism does not seem very likely to occur, this solution to female exploitation tends not to be seen as a particularly useful one to persuade. The patriarchal forms of exploitation have existed in all known societies, not just the capitalist ones.